To test an application that uses SSL, a self-signed certificate is good enough. So let's go ahead and create some certificates, write a Node.js application that uses it, and demonstrates the use in the browser. So let's go ahead and get started by creating, first of all, a key. I'm going to go ahead and use OpenSSL. And as you can see here, I'm going to call the key Ables key, and I'm going to create it with 2048 bits. Now, if I go ahead and list the files, you can see there ableskey.pem. If I look at the contents of the file, you'll see the key. Now, the next step is that we're going to create a certificate request using the key that we just created. As you can see there, the key that I'm specifying is Ables key, and the output is going to be the certificate request. As you can see, this is a number of fields that we need to fill in for the certificate request. I'm going to go ahead and go with the defaults. I'm simply going to press enter at each line. And I'm going to make sure to leave the challenge password empty. I'm just going to hit return. So if we list our files once again, you can see there that I have the certificate certificate request along with my key. Now the last thing that we're going to do is that we're going to generate that certificate based on the certificate request and the command line instruction is the following. You can see there that we use the certificate request as well as the key and the output is going to be able cert my certificate. So I'm going to go ahead and hit return and as you can see there we have created a certificate with uh, some dummy information, just whatever the defaults were uh, that we selected when we created the certificate request. Now we can see here at uh, the command line that we have all of the files we need. We, need the, we have the certificate, the certificate request, and we also have the key. Now let's create a Node.js application that uses uh, the certificates. So I'm gonna start off by running npm init and I'm going to go with the defaults. I'll use uh, Butter as the name of my applications. That's the name of the folder I'm working in. Uh, take the defaults. I'll say SSL uh, test app. Take the entry point as index.js. Do not enter a test command or get repo or keywords or an author. And then I will use the license of MIT. I will confirm that this is okay and take a look at the package info just to make sure that I have added everything I've needed. Now I know I'm going to use Express, the web framework for Node.js, so I'm going to go ahead and enter that as well. So I'm going to install it. The default is now to save locally the module. So once I do that, you'll see that we have an extra folder in the directory. So we have the package.json, which has the metadata that we just generated when we ran init. And then we have a new folder called node modules that contains express plus all the dependencies. I'm going to use touch to create a file called index.js. Then go now open it with sublime. This is simply a shortcut that I have within my shell. And as you can see there, we have an empty file. Into it, I'm going to copy the following. And let me go ahead and walk you through what this code is. The very first one requires Express, the module we just added, then HTTPS, then HTTP. These are part of Node, so there's no need to add them. Uh, then I'm creating an instance of Express that I call an app. Uh, and then requiring the file system. This is also part of Node.js core, so there's no need to add it. Now we list a number of options that we're going to use when we create the servers in a minute. And into it, we write the name of the keys. So we have a key and a certificate, and you can see there that I'm using the files that I created, able-key.pem and ables-cert.pen. Now after that, I'm writing a route in this case is just a default route at the root that will simply return to return hello world and then I have a couple of servers that you can request the first one is simply HTTP and this one is listening at port 8080 and the second one is listening on the default SSL port which is 443 so I'm going to go ahead and save this file 
I will then go ahead and run the node application. So I'm going to go ahead and enter node index. Oh, and this is a good point. If you are running on the Mac, uh, you need to run this command with sudo. Otherwise, you will get uh, the error message that I just got. And that is because uh, running something on port 443 is uh, restricted. So let's go ahead and run that again. Oh, I wrote sudo instead of sudo. And as you can see there, the application is now listening on port 8080 and then listening on port 443. So let's go ahead and make the request from the browser. And if we did everything right, uh, we should be able to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to the browser. I'm going to go ahead and enter localhost. And I will first try the, uh, open, the open port on port 8080. So I'm going to go ahead and hit return. And as you can see there, we get hello world back. I'm not going to enter the same, but I'm going to do it on HTTPS slash slash. The default port is 443, so I'm going to go ahead and enter that. And as you can see there, it tells me that my connection is not private. This is because I've, uh, I've created a self-signed certificate. I'm going to then go ahead and proceed. And you can see there that I am hitting HTTPS. Uh, on port 443. In fact, we can enter that here. And we get the same result. Now to close, I'm simply going to go ahead and show you uh, that we can enter the same at the command line with the dash k option. So if we enter curl dash k https uh, localhost and we hit return, you can see there that we get hello world. Uh, if we enter the port as well, 443, we get the same hello world back. So that's it for this one.